Step 5. Billets Alignment. Now I'd like to talk to you about the billets alignment. Make sure you place the saddle in the right spot behind the shoulder. Look at your billets. If they hang perpendicular to the ground in the right area, in the girth area, you will be sure that your saddle won't get dragged forward or back. Let me show you a saddle where the billets hang too far back. Here I'm going to show you a saddle. Put it behind the shoulder. I want to make sure the billets hang perpendicular, but they're not hanging in the girth area. Gravity will bring the girth and the billets into the girth area. And now something really bad happens. Saddle gets driven into the shoulder and on top of the shoulder. A horse's scapular has the top cap that's cartilage. And if the saddle keeps pushing into that bone and into the cartilage, it's kind of like on my back. If you pretend my finger is the saddle and the saddle keeps pushing behind my shoulder every time the horse steps, this kind of reaction only is tolerated in this area from the horse so long. And if the cartilage and the bone get shipped away, that's what we consider a long-term damage. We do not want to see that. What's the opposite? Let's pretend this particular saddle would have the billets into his elbow area. The girth will slide back, may make him sore on the elbow, and drags the saddle too far back. You might think, that's great, because now I protect the horse's shoulder, but the saddle sits in the horse's loin area, lumbar area, kidney area, or if you have a mare, in the ovary area. Special bad when the horse is in season and the ovary is active, not a good idea to have any pressure there.